Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome everybody. Another little inbox review, and it is a, a little inbox review. Now this is the Trumpeter 135th scale, flat 38. Uh, it's not a very big gun, length a hundred and twenty four point three millimeters width sixty nine point eight millimeters reasonable reasonable size now uh, I said that what is the kit number right the kit number is zero two three zero nine it's made by trumpeter now I'm doing this build uh, the group build and I really want to try and keep everything that I'm building uh, one manufacturer so that's the reason why I went for the trumpeter one now you can get a, a Tamiya one very good uh, they roughly work out at about six pound this worked out at ten pound more it worked out at sixteen pound but I thought to myself well uh, we'll pick we'll get one and we'll see what they like or actually I got two but there you go Nice little bit of box art as normal with Trumpeter, just a little bit of gump on the side. And I do see that there's three bits of PE in this as well. Uh, just another cab join on the other side. Now, we'll get into the box because there's not a great deal in this box. We get uh, two, three, four, five sprues all together but we do get PE we get quite a bit of PE actually we get one two three prets of PE which we'll have to take a closer look at in a minute we also get some decals decals transfers or stickers uh, a color guide painting and marking guide which we'll have a look at in a second. Sorry about the glare of the lights. And right in the bottom of the box, we get a little workshop manual. So first things first, what we'll do is uh, we'll set up and we'll have a look at the workshop manual. Okay, we'll start with the little color call out. Now, well, the painting and marking guide, should I say. Uh, we've got one, I'm just holding it at an angle, sorry, because uh, if I go down it starts to get some glare off the lights we've got one in sand and we've got the other in standard German grey now we've got colour call outs uh, Mr Hobby, Vallejo, uh, Model Master, Go Away Fly, uh, Tamir and Humble you've got all the colours for Mr Hobby uh, Vallejo you've only got three, Model Master you've only got one, Tamir you've got two and humble you've got two so you'll have to mix and match and make your own mind up so that's the color call out and we have a look now at the destructions uh, read before assembling okay just general information uh, which we all know uh, I shall sit and read the Chinese bit uh, because I'm very fluent at Chinese mm. okay right into the first page we've got a sprue layout of the sprues and then we go straight into the assembly part one is the assembly of the guns not quite sure what that middle bit's called but someone's going to tell me uh, it's probably something like a yoke or something like that so it's silly but uh, there's a lot of PE on this one uh, all the racks that hold the magazines they're all made from PE so there is quite a lot of PE assembly right over to page three a lot going on a lot of bits and pieces there's a lot of PE this is all PE uh, we've got more PE down the bottom here assembly so this is going to be there's quite a lot of PE assembly uh, the actual front I don't know what these bits are, but uh, we will find out. It's definitely a seat of some shape, size, or description. 
And then we move on, even more PE, uh, all the, uh, I don't know what they call it, I've forgotten what they call it now, uh, the shield, okay, we'll call it the shield, it must be called the shield because it protects them against uh, bullets. That's all made from PE, and that, you can either have that open or closed, we've got the base at the bottom here being made up for the actual gun to go on. And then we just move on straight to the actual uh, uh, transport part of it, the little trailer that it sits on. Now I wasn't going to do this, uh, I weren't actually going to build these, but then I thought to myself, well, they would need to be on the train because if they got to the other end and they wanted them off, they wouldn't be able to move the damn things, would they? So I will be assembling all these. So that's it, a uh, very short instruction book. Uh, what we'll do now, uh, we'll drop the camera down and we'll take a good look at the parts. Okay, our first threat is WP, or Sprue, should I say, Sprue. Uh, I don't know everything, so I'll point out the things that I do know. I've got some very nice mud guards there. Uh, these are the inners of the wheels. The wheels are cast all in one piece and you just slide these into the back. We've got the actual frame, the uh, trailer which is very nicely done uh, then we've just got smaller bits and pieces we've got the suspension as well and a big gap and a little spade or shovel and some clips all nice and clean I can't see no flash which is the main thing and hopefully not too much clean up so that was WP this is uh, Sprue L uh, lots of little bits on this and I ain't gonna go through exactly what they will are because I don't know I can I know that they're the, the magazines uh, What else can I pick out? Uh, not a lot Not a lot We've got some seats there, which uh, I can definitely see what they are all lots of little bits and pieces and that is sprue L. just have a quick look on the back all nice and clean there's going to be a little bit of uh, seam line there to clean up on some of them but nothing too mad okay sprue L. a little sprue this is sprue s this is the base for the actual gun nicely done uh, a few other bits and pieces which I'm not sure about but we will find them out when we actually build it but again all nice and clean no flash so that is sprue S sprue A is just one little solitary sprue if I turn it around that way you'll probably sit the whole way in the shot we've just got the wheels there's only two uh, connection points on that and it is all cast in one piece and you just put a insert into the back so that will be nice that will save a lot of mucking about uh, yet again all nice and clean nice and ti uh, tidy so that's sprue A okay this is the final sprue this is sprue K uh, this contains all the bits and pieces for the actual guns all nice and clean and I have noticed that the ends are drilled out as well uh, as you can see that they've got the indents but we'll have a little look in a second so everything's nice and clean uh, I can't say well everything I can see that's on there is nicely detailed it, the proofs in the pudding when it all comes together so turning it over the guns look okay and if I, if I can show you but you can see that the ends have been drilled out that's nice saves a lot of mucking about okay that is the final sprue and now we'll take a look at the well, so actually that was sprue k and now we'll take a look at the photo okay edge. first piece of photo edge we'll get that in there get my hand out of the way so we can actually see uh not too thick but they're again not too thin uh, I would say these are all the boxes to be made up uh, for the storage of the uh, magazines on the side now I say it's quite a big piece 
uh, it looks okay it's not covered in the plastic I do like uh, it when they cover it in plastic because it just stops the bits from pinging off and they cut out better but we can't have everything so that's the first piece uh, moving on we'll go to the second piece get it out of the packet and this bit is actually covered in plastic which is good and this is the actual uh, shield at the front as I call it someone's going to probably correct me on that uh, what I can see it's all nicely detailed uh, plain on the back but there you go so that's the actual gun shield and the final bit is just this little tiny fret uh, I'm not quite sure what that's for but we will find out eventually. So, the only thing left is the decals. Okay, you'll just have to bear with me a second on the decals. I'll just try and angle it so you can actually see what you're actually getting. Uh, little aircraft. Uh, very difficult to see because they're all in white. Ooh, I think we've even got some tanks there and we've got some stripes there at the bottom and we've got some at the top there as well where they all go I don't know but you have a good selection of scores I suppose you'd call them uh, for the actual gun so that's it that's all you get in this little kit I'll leave that just there just so the camera don't go mad thank you very much for joining me uh, Next one is going to be, I can't remember now, the Flak, what is it, the Flak, oh, Flak 37, the trumpet of Flak 37, so I'll be doing that one next, so hopefully we'll see you on the next one.